I am Anil Kumar and now let us create input output tables from the data given in the graph. So the question here is create input output table for the given graph. Write patent rule and calculate tenth term. So here is a graph for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Now to create this uh, input output table, let's make two columns, one for input and one for output, right? And we'll write down the values for input and output. So let us say input is always on our left side, so that is input and output. Input will always be along the x-axis, so this is input for you, okay? This is input and that one is output, let me write like this. So this y belongs to output. So x is always input for us and y is output. Now to get the points, we are given 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 points. Let's figure them out. At 1, input is 1, output is 2. Do you see that? So that is how you have to read 2 and this point is 5. So we have 2, 5. At 3, the value is 8. So at 3, we have 8 as the output. At 4, it is 11. So 4 and 11, and at 5, the value is 14. So 5, 14. So we have done the first part, and that is create input output table for the given graph. So that is done for us. Now, write pattern rule. So now we need to write down a pattern rule. Okay, so how do you write pattern rule? And then create and calculate 10th term. Okay, so you have to also find the 10th term. And before that, you need to write a pattern rule. So let's think about pattern rule now. To find the pattern rule, let's see the pattern itself. So if you analyze what happens as you input numbers increase by 1, what happens to y values, the output? Uh, 2 to 5, 5 to 8, 8 to 11. What we observe here is that they increase by 3 each time. So they increase by three each time. Now that gives us a pattern rule, right? So pattern rule has to do something with three. And when they increase by three each time, increase by three each time means multiply by three. Okay. So in pattern rule we have times three for sure. Now if I do one time three, what do I get? One time, let's calculate, one time three is uh, three. How do you get two? Well, I have to remove 1. Okay. What is 2 times 3? 2 times 3 is 6. And if I remove 1, I get 5. It works. So that is the pattern rule. Times 3 minus 1. So any input, let me write this as a hash or x, right? Times 3 minus 1 is my pattern rule. Correct? Now what you can do is, you can just check for yourself. If I do 4 times 3, let me check, right? 4 times 3 minus 1. 4 times 3 is 12, 12 minus 1 is 11, perfect. So it works. So you will see, if your pattern is increasing by the same number each time, then that is how you can get your rule. Multiply the input by that number and see what should be added or subtracted to get the number. So that is my rule, right? Now, we have already given you the pattern rule. You need to find the tenth term. How do you find the tenth term? You should use the pattern rule. So the tenth term should be how much? Tenth term should be how much? Times 3 minus 1 is the rule. So let us do 10 times 3 minus 1. 30 minus 1 is 29. So the tenth term should be 29. So that is how you get the tenth term, right? So as an exercise, you could find 50th term, right? And figure out if uh, 40 is in our output or not, right? So so question for you, which I'm writing here is, is 40 a number in output for this particular pattern, right? So figure it out. If it is, then let me know what this, what input will give you 40 as the output. Well, 
So that is the question for you to do now, okay? So this is how you can do. And one thing you could also do, let me add one more question, right? Let's say this is question one. And the next question is, find which term number is 26 okay find which term number is 26 and provide a logic for it okay so let that be next question for you i hope these questions help you to understand the concept thank you and all the best